What's going on? Crypto Doge back with another video talking about which is more profitable between GPU and ASIC mining in February of 2018. So let's talk about this and what I think will be more profitable now, which is more profitable now and which will be more profitable in the long term and which one you should actually get into. I'm going to tell you guys my answer right away. I believe that GPU mining is more profitable in the long term, but let's look at the short term and I'm going to explain my reasoning later on in this video. So right now we're just going to compare uh, on eBay. I would not really suggest eBay as your number one place for buying uh, ASIC or GPU mining rigs. I do not suggest it because they are really, really ramped up in price, but we're just going to be comparing the two just for this video's sake, but you guys can actually definitely find better deals than this for sure. So let's start with the Ethereum rig. Um, I saw this rig that was actually a decent price at least. I'm not taking these crazy, stupidly expensive rigs of $15,000 for 180 mega hash because that's just stupid. Uh, but this rig, it says 160 mega hash for around uh, $3,900 with the shipping. So I put this in an Ethereum mining calculator just to see what's going to happen. I put the power and power watts and power cost to zero just because uh, I don't really want to play around with the numbers. But I'm going to put that, uh, put the power cost for the Bitcoin mining also at zero. So it's kind of even on even playing field. Okay. So just keep that in mind that there's going to be some power cost um, that you're going to have to worry about. So let's, let's put this in the calculator. So for this Ethereum mining rig, it's actually not that bad um, for this eBay listing, at least 327 days to break even. So it's less than a year, which is not too bad uh, for $3,900. You're getting around $4,300 a year profit, but obviously no power costs, no pool fees. So there's obviously going to be a little bit of a difference to that. But at the same time, guys, Ethereum is pretty low right now, and I do believe it will increase in the long term. And we're going to talk about the prices and how that's going to affect the mining uh, you're doing later on in this video. So not too bad, right? The days to break even. It's not that bad. Not very good, though. Now let's move on to the Antminer S9, which is pretty much the most profitable uh, Bitcoin mining um, ASIC miners. So we're just going to be talking about Bitcoin ASIC mining. There is other ASIC miners, but most most likely the Bitcoin ones are the most uh, profitable ones. So let's look into that. Okay, so this is the one I picked here, 4000 It's around $4,400 with the shipping. 13.5 terahash. Again, no power costs, uh, no power watts. Let's put that in here. So the days to break even, it's higher, guys. 441 days. Um, and this is without the, the cost. So... Honestly, what what I would say is whichever cryptocurrency you believe will continue to rise in price for the long term is which cryptocurrency you should be mining. So if you really think Bitcoin is going to go up long term, I believe you should be mining Bitcoin. If you think Ethereum is going to go up long term, I think you should be mining Ethereum and holding the coins. That's how you're going to get profit, a uh, good amount of profit from this mining. But yeah, let's let's say this is a little bit higher of a price because that's definitely let, let's say this $3,200. Um, yeah, this this seems like a way better price, right? So three thousand two hundred dollars. Let's change the price to that Around three thousand two hundred. So then it kind of evens out to the Ethereum mining So I would say they're about even the the profitability is about even for the ASIC miners as well as the Ethereum miners the difference is guys is that uh, these GPUs you can actually sell them and you can use them uh, I, I mean, you can sell them to gamers who want to game with them, of course, and you can actually use them yourself for gaming or uh, any sort of com computer work and stuff like that. So I would say that it's more versatile when you're buying uh, graphics cards, which is a little bit more important um, <clears throat> for if you ever want to sell your rigs. The difference is between ASIC miners is that it's literally just for mining. So let's say cryptocurrency dies tomorrow. It completely dies. Then that means ASIC miners would be worth literally nothing. But if, if the same thing happened where cryptocurrency dies, then GPUs would still be worth money because of gamers and people who want them for their PC builds, of course. So that is pretty much a di the difference. That's why I would technically recommend, um, this is just my recommendation, my opinion, is that GPU mining rigs are better for the long term uh, since they are more versatile. And I believe the cryptocurrencies that are GPU mineable, such as Ethereum and uh, other coins such as Zcash, are going to be continuing to rise in price for the long term while bitcoin i'm not very sure about that whoa what the hell is this coin here 1540 percent it's 21 21st coin that's interesting i might make a video on this uh look into do some research on that coin but we're not talking about this and that in this video so yeah that's pretty much my opinion guys i would say 
uh, getting into GPU mining would be better. That's my preferred way of mining. I do have uh, a GPU mining rig myself. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking to invest more into GPU mining rigs. But that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment down below if you guys uh, rather ASIC or GPU miners. And tell me which coins you are mining if you are actually mining. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe.